regardless of which particular business English setting you find yourself teaching in, here's a typical process that we would recommend that you go through before you actually start teaching your course. So to start with, it's very important that you level test each member of your group and from that level test you can put them into the different categories. Within those categories themselves you then need to do a needs analysis and the needs analysis will tell you what type of information they're going to need to know by the end of your course. They're an example of both a level test and a needs analysis within your course units. It's very often next if you get your group together, first of all, and do a group needs negotiation. So you and your group discuss what it is that they need to get out of your course, what it is they're expecting your course to teach them, and you can try to guide them along the lines of where your syllabus is actually going to show uh, to, to take them. Once you've done those three things, you're then in a position to plan out your syllabus. Regardless of the length of the course, we would suggest that you don't take that planning of the progression of the syllabus too far initially, but that you find out whether the methodology that you're using and the types of lessons that you've created is actually working. If everything seems to be okay, then you can continue to plan that syllabus. Once that has been done and you've done some teaching, it's very important to do some testing and evaluation at various parts of your course. So at various stages, you need to do some progress tests. By the time your course is finished, it's also very important that you do some form of post-course evaluation. You need to know from the students, and the students are going to be the best judges of the information that you've been able to pass over to them, what do they think your course was about and what do they think needs to be changed. That can then help the next set of people who come in to do that course.